Marlene. Marlene. Marlene! Marlene! Biggs! Wet! Jesse! God damn it! God damn you! God damn you all! It was us. We did this. No. You can't think like that. Whatever came before it was Shinra that pulled the trigger today. Am I right? Barrett. Marlene's fine. Run. Aerith found her. Aerith? Is that the girl they took? Yeah. That's her. Hmm. What the hell's going on? I asked Aerith to find Marlene and take her somewhere safe. And she did? You sure? Hey, where are you going? a lot of fire. Ah, Barrett's back. Let me see. I want to put you at the light machine gun. Yeah. Because I want to work on learning that other skill. As for Shiva, let's... Oh, we have Fat Chocobo, too. Yeah, Barrett, you can take Fat Chocobo. You can take Shiva. Oops. Yeah, okay. Or honestly. Yeah, 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 do that. Well, I'll use the Fat Chocobo Summon just to use it. Even though I don't like Fat Chocobo very much. But I'll do it at least once in this playthrough. How could this happen? I don't know what's going on. Tell me this isn't happening. This moment really does well. Like I said in the beginning of this playthrough, I love the way Shimra is depicted in this game. And this moment just sells it all. Like this moment of like the Sector 7 plate falling and like... Seeing all the people that died and everything, it really sets Shimra up and makes them seem like a big threat. And it really sets the mood of the game. It's a really nice tonal shift. And also, this game in general just does really well with Midgar in general. Midgar feels like a nice, big, I breathing said, world. Where you going? Aerith's house. It's in the Sector 5 slums. And that's where Marlene is? Where we hope she is. Tell me she is. Give me something to hang on to. Even if she's not, I won't blame you for it, I swear. Who am I kidding? I'd probably try to tear your head off. Hey, 
Tifa. Know anything about ancients? I know I've heard of them, at least. They come up in planetology books. Meant to be the original stewards of the planet. Could even commune with it, talk to it and stuff. That must be why the Turks wanted her so badly. Within my veins flows the blood of ancients. This planet is my birthright. Where have I heard that before? It's nothing. Let's go. Nothing to worry about right now. We got enough on our plates. We'll we'll put a pin in that for now. Oh, Chocobo. Like there's a hole in the sky. Whoa, someone... There's in fact a hole in the sky with that plate not being up there. Over there. What the hell are they doing here? Their jobs, probably. Mm. Just focus on seeing Marlene again. Nothing else. Go, go, go. Honey, be in. The first thing we need to do is find the plate. Is it true that Sector 7's pretty much destroyed? You guys run into Jesse at the pillar? Yeah. Biggs, too. They Let were both through, in pretty Let bad shape. But Wedge wasn't up there with them. He got out. All right. Jesse owes me a pizza. The main antagonist of OG FF7 is Sephiroth. Thinking, we gotta go find the the reason why they... If we don't look for them, who will? Uh, you done? Right. Hey, yeah. Cloud, gonna need your help with it too. Right. On it. The reason they made Sephiroth appear in... Mi Sephiroth does not appear in Midgar because Midgar is only five to eight hours of the original game. The reason they made them appear in this remake is because, like, I mean... It would just feel weird to not have Sephiroth be the main antagonist. So they they had to change some writing stuff and be like, oh yeah, we're gonna build up Sephiroth in the remake. But Sephiroth is the villain of FF7. That's why he's in this remake. In this first part of the remake. In the original game, he does not appear until after Midgar's section. He appears in, um... Well... He's built up at the end of Midgar, but he doesn't actually appear until like after you leave Midgar. This is Sector Five, right? So where is this place you said Marlene is? Where I think she is. It's a house on the other side of town. Well, come on then. Pick up the pace. I'm going as fast as you are. I can't. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm going as fast as I can. Yo, Chadley, you got anything for me during this time of desperate measure? Cloud, I'm glad to see that you're okay. In these trying times, I hope to develop new materia to help us endure. Oh yeah, we got these two done. The R mission. Okay. Bye. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I've registered a new summons battle intel request. Please, take a look. I need you to defeat the summon entity so I can complete the materia. Oh, we have the new summon right now? You will continue to help Leviathan! My, my favorite summon! We're not gonna fight him right now. I think Leviathan is, like, decently hard if we fight him now. We'll fight him in probably the next chapter. I'll try. Any new materia? No? Nothing? I 
look forward to receiving- I honestly thought Leviathan came in chapter 14, but lo and behold, he's here. Is this all the battle intels? Wait, wait, wait. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, this is all the battle intels. Number 20 is Bahamut. We have Leviathan here. We have to assess five more enemy types. Getting all the weapon abilities is a battle intel. I'm really glad I went back to steal the weapon with Aerith. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I think. Oh, no, we have to acquire 16, not all of them. There aren't 16 in the game. You just have to acquire 16. I'm still glad I got all the weapons, though. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one we're not going to be able to do by the time we finish the game. We have to master all 12 types of magic materia. Revival is going to take so long. And then we have to defeat a few more variants. But all the battle intels are going to be really easy to do. Except I can't go to Moogle Emporium. The only one I'm going to have to grind for is the, uh, the MP consumption one. That one we're going to have to grind a little for. Probably when I finish the game, I'll do chapter select on my own time, and then I'll have it ready. That's probably going to be the best way to do it. Because you get like triple AP for beating the game and doing chapter select. I'm going to be honest with you, I think we only have like... We're like 21 hours in the game. Well, no, we're not. We're like 20 hours in the game. By the end of today's stream, we'll be 21 hours in. If I do four more streams, right? That's like, what, four? Let's say they're four hours, 16 hours. We might only have like, of the main story, we might only have like two to four streams left. Probably three to four of the main story. And the Yuffie DLC will probably take a stream or two. So like, we're actually like, not too far from being done. With the main story, we're not, but like, you know. Even still, Yuffie's story will only take like two streams most, I think. I mean, that works because like, you know, that's just the time I need to finish this game before second story R. Or at the worst, be like a stream away from finishing. Where's Marley? Is she here? Baron. Sorry, I'm buried. Marlene's my little girl. Uh, uh, mm. Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, with the heart of an angel. She was wearing, uh, pink. She was wearing a she's pink dress today. She's sleeping upstairs. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I said she's sleeping. Uh. I want to see her too. Come on, let's go look in on her. Keep it down. Don't wake her. I took a minute to stretch there because I thought the cutscene was going to be longer. Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. Yeah, I'm going. Let's go, Tifa. Well, look at that painting. Very nice. Aerith loves her flowers. Marlene, my baby, thank God. Shh. <laughs> Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. <sighs> because she's an ancient. Is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. 
Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. <sighs> About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. But he didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market. Or that they were topsiders, fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. <sighs> I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean... What can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the uh, knock. Uh, coming! <laughs> no! Go away! <sighs> You know you're not just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. <clears throat> Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. 
Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us... You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! <sighs> but Aerith, even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her, too, I don't know if I could... if I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. Ancients, the planet, it's all coming together. The FF7 lore that I love so much. Hello. Take care of yourselves now. Yeah, I'll try. We've got an hour left. We can make some progress here. <laughs>